let me revise this. So nervous system, the basic function of nervous system is to receive, stim receive stimulation from the external and internal environment and respond accordingly. Receive and respond. Nervous system is divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system, the reason why it is called as central is, it is a central organ which controls and integrates the entire functions of human body. It consists of brain and spinal cord. Brain and spinal cord are central to our body. So central, why? Two things. One, it is the central controlling unit which is controlling the entire organ function and it is central to our human body. Now, from this brain and spinal cord, you have a lot of nerves coming up. From the brain, the nerves are known as cranial nerves. From the spine, they are known as spinal nerves. We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves up there. We have 31 pairs of spinal nerves up there. These nerves are coming peripheral to this central part. Hence, this cranial and spinal nerves are considered as peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. Now, the brain, the nerves, according to their function, they are classified as sensory or motor. So sensory neurons or motor neurons. What do you mean by that? Sensory means any information which is going towards brain and spinal cord is known as sensory. So all our sense organs, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, what do they do? They sense the external environment and the information is given to the brain and spinal cord. We see the things, it gets into the brain. We listen words, it gets into the brain. We taste things, it gets into our brain. But if someone touches or pressure is there, it gets towards our brain. So anything moves moving towards the brain, the signals are known as sensory. They are also known as efferent. It starts with alphabet A, admitting towards, admitting inside the brain. Now, once the signal goes inside, the CNS will process the signal and respond accordingly. The response comes from the CNS to peripheral parts. And the neurons which carry the signals are known as motor neurons. They are also known as efferent. Efferent means exiting from the brain a spinal cord. So going inside is efferent, starts with A. A, coming from the brain, efferent, starts with you. Sensory, motor. Now, now this sensory, uh, how do they act is, the sensory uh, neurons has got certain receptors. Based on the location, the sensory receptors are transferred as exteroceptor, interoceptor, proprioceptor. Now, exteroceptors, which will, uh, which will receive signals from external environment. That is the reason why they are called as extero. It is a combination of external sensation receptor, external senses receptor, extero receptors. So all of special senses like our eyes, ears, nose, skin, all of them contain these extero receptors. They will sense the external stimulation and it is sent towards brain. Because it is going towards brain, they are sensory. Next one is interoceptors. I told you the nervous system function is to receive signals from external environment as well as internal environment. Inside you have a lot of organs that are kidney, liver, blood vessels, heart. If any change is there, that is checked by these interoceptors which are present inside our in, inside organs. They will check the difference and the signal is sent towards them. These are called as interoceptors. Now, the last one is proprioceptors. These receptors are present on muscle, ligament, and tendons. The position of our limbs, hands, our movement is checked by this proprioceptor. That means the position of our body is sensed by this proprioceptor. So three major sensory receptors are there. Exteroceptors, interoceptors, proprioceptors. Now understand this thing. In, in this case, the sensory receptors are nothing but free nerve endings or nerve endings encapsulated with a special capsule. So the nerve endings will sense the changes and send the information to the brain. Based on their function, they are majorly there are five types of there: thermoreceptor, chemoreceptor, baro or mechanoreceptors, nociceptor, photoreceptor. See the names are self-explanatory. Thermoreceptor, the job is to check the temperature. If any temperature change is there, these receptor will send the signal to the CNS and CNS will respond accordingly. Example, when, when the external temperature is very high, blood vessel dilation occurs. Why this is happening? When external temperature is high, it will affect our human body temperature. Human body has to maintain a constant temperature. In order to do that, body has to lose that excess heat. How it can happen? When blood vessel is dilated, from the blood plasma, the heat exchanging surface is increased, so exchange easily occurs. Take the case of the coffee. You have a coffee in the cup, 
it will be hot pour it on a plate what happens immediately the heat exchange occurs and it cools down when surface area is increased heat exchange occurs and the temperature drops down to do that when temperature is very high all of our blood vessels will get dilated that is the reason why in, in summer time when you get into the heat you will become red why it is happening because excess heat is there body will expand its blood vessels so all the blood will get exposed heat exchange occurs immediately body will cool down see this is how the receptors are sensing external environment and making sure that homeostasis is maintained chemo receptor they check the changes in chemical environment our blood plasma has got 7.2 ppm if too much of carbon dioxide is there in, in our blood plasma it dissolves combines with water and forms carbonic acid h2co acid ph is less so 7.2 ph will go down immediately the chemo receptor check the change in ph they send a signal to central nervous system immediately central nervous system will respond and increase activates the respiratory system respiratory center increases respiration so when you take deep breaths increase the respiration more oxygen get inside more carbon dioxide goes outside when carbon dioxide is going out what happens to ph again it comes to normal ph so again homeostasis baro receptor again when blood pressure is more the carotid sinus in the carotid artery there is a sinus called as carotid sinus there you have baro receptors are there baro they will check the difference in pressure when when too much of blood is there in blood vessel what happens blood vessel stretches and this stretch is detected by baro receptor immediately they will send the signal to cns cns will will inactivate sympathetic nervous system so that blood pressure will fall down again homeostasis non receptor if internal organ damage is there if any injury to internal organ is there that is taken towards brain by non receptor they are nothing but pain receptor you know angina pectoris A, a strangulating pressing chest pain it occurs because when there is a damage to heart nos receptor will sense it send the information to the brain we feel that pain so if internal organs any damage is there still it is detected by all these receptors and finally photo receptors are present on eye which will check the differences in photons you know our pupil when you get into the sun pupil will constrict why it is happening to protect the inside organs from that dangerous radiation pupil will constrict so the radiation will not enter and because light is there even though pupil is constricted you can see everything clearly when you get into the dark room again pupil dilates no light is there you need to see everything properly photo receptors this is how they will respond so the information is sent immediately pupil dilation changes so all of them are kind of sensory receptors so this is how the central nervous system will try to control it so nervous system the central part and peripheral part is there now all these things what all things i have explained it is it is related to sensory part going information towards the brain and brain respond accordingly and it sends signal to the outside peripheral organs with the help of motor or efferent parts now in peripheral nervous system the sensory neurons are all these things all of them will carry the signals from external and internal environment to, <coughs> excuse me towards the brain for motor part how the motor brain sends the signals and how every organ is affected that motor part is classified into somatic and autonomic nervous system understand this it is only the motor part the signals which are coming from the brain they are classified into somatic and autonomic nervous system the somatic nervous